اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم How to develop linkage between different concepts using a theory? A step-by-step practical example. A number of times we are engaged in assessing relationships that have not been assessed before. However, we do have to build an argument that there is a relationship possible between the two concepts. We have to propose a hypothesis. Now, since there is no literature on it, that is, empirical literature, research that has been done relating the two concepts. We often use theories to establish the possible relationship between two different concepts. Although theory can be used and is used to establish relationship between concepts that have already been related. But in particular, theory can be very useful in developing relationship between concepts that have not been empirically studied before. This session will provide a step-by-step example to develop linkage between different concepts. So what example have I taken for this particular session? For instance, I am trusted in establishing the relationship between sustainable leadership and project success. And there is no research that has linked the two concepts. Now, how do I know that there is no research that has linked the two concepts? So I've put in this particular text in a Google Scholar and I could not find any research that has linked the two concepts. Well, I'm going to do it in front of you as well. Let's go to Google Scholar, put the text in, enter, and there is no research that has linked sustainable leadership with either project success or project performance. Now, if you want to learn how to build such strings, I'm going to share the reference to another video on Google Scholar. Moving on, in this study, I'm proposing whether sustainable leadership can be linked to project success. However, there is no research that has linked sustainable leadership with project success or project performance. So what's the process of developing this link? Step one, identify the theory that can be used. Now, in this case, I have identified a resource based view as the theory that can be used. So what I did was I searched Google Scholar using the same strings and I found out that for organizational outcomes such as success performance with leadership resource based view has been adequately used previously. Now this is this step is finalized. I know the theory to be used. Now again there are videos on the channel that can help you find the theory. The link will be shared in the description. In simple terms since one of my objective is to assess the relationship between leadership and project success in this study, the theory that I found was resource based view because in existing research, leadership has been linked with project success and other organizational level outcomes such as performance and sustainable competitive advantage using resource based view. Step two, identify the key characteristics, traits or elements of the theory. So what does this theory include? What is meant by this theory? Step three, identify the key characteristics, elements, traits of the two concepts so that you can understand the concepts well and that you are able to link these concepts in a proper manner. If you do not understand what is the theory, what are the critical elements of the theory? And if you do not understand the key characteristics, elements of the two concepts, then you won't be able to link these concepts together. So once you identify the key characteristics of the theory and the two concepts, then you are in a better position to link these different concepts based on the theory. The next step, link the constructs that is your IV or DV based on the key characteristics with identified traits of the theory. Now, what are the traits of the theory that can help us link that theory with these concepts or how these two concepts can be linked based on the key elements, traits of the theory. Moving on. Now, here is a sample writer based on the steps that I've identified earlier. Step one, mention the theory. 
So when you are trying to explain the relationship between variables, what you start off with is mention the theory that you are going to use. So in this case, the example is that the relationship between sustainable leadership and project success can be explained in light of the resource based view. So you are mentioning it to your reader that you are going to explain the relationship between sustainable leadership and project success based on resource based view. The next step, describe the theory. Make sure that the description uses the words that are later used to link the two concepts. Now there could be multiple explanations of resource based view. Now try to focus on the description of RBV, which is the theory in this case, that can help you link the two concepts, which two concepts, sustainable leadership with project success. Now, how is it this possible? How would I know which concepts to link or which definition or which description to use? Again, in the previous slide, we mentioned on clearly identifying the elements of these concepts. Now, once you identify the key elements, you will be able to identify the proper description of the theory that can be used to link these two. This is more like a cognitive mental process whereby our mind is working to identify the linkage between the two. But the next step is to put it in writing. And this is how we are going to do it. In this case, the example is the central proposition of RBV is that for a firm to achieve competitive advantage and performance, it must acquire and control valuable, rare, inimitable and non-substituable resources and capabilities. Now, these are the key characteristics, valuable, rare, inimitable, non-substituable resources and capabilities. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find whether servant leadership, because project success is the organizational outcome. So I'm going to try to find an argument that shows that sustainable leadership is valuable, rare, imitable, non-substitutable, resource or capability. Well, not all of them are required, obviously, maybe just one or two. So if I find an argument that it is valuable, then this is more than enough for me to say that something valuable as sustainable leadership can help improve the organizational outcome like project success. So you have used resource based view to link the two concepts. Moving on. Step three, link the theory with the concepts based on the identified traits. As mentioned, now we are going to link the theory based on the identified concepts. Now project success in this example is the performance outcome of the business. Hence, we try to establish that leadership in particular, sustainable leadership is valuable, rare, imitable and non-substituable resource or capability. To do so, we will need the literature support. This is what I just mentioned. Now, what I did was I framed a string that can be used in Google Scholar and here it is all in text, sustainable leadership. Is it valuable, rare, inimitable? Is it a resource or capability? Now I'm trying to find in the research papers, in the text of research papers, this text, something that mentions sustainable leadership with these words. So what I did was I simply copied it. And what I found was this. Let's have a look at the example here. Here it is. Being environmentally friendly, this study takes sustainable leadership as a resource. So sustainable leadership in existing research has been identified as a resource. Further, you can keep searching and find literature that actually notes that sustainable leadership is a valuable resource. Is, is it, is, it is rare, it is inimitable or it is a capability. For now, for this example, I'm just going to stick with this particular example text here. So leadership in general has been identified as a rare and, and inimitable capability of the organization. So Barney has mentioned that leadership is a resource. Whereas sustainable leadership has been identified by Iqbal and Ahmed as a critical resource for any organization as well. So now it is established that leadership is a resource. 
And according to RBV, when you have a resource, it leads to improved competitive advantage and performance. Moving on. Step four, is there any link of RBV in existing research with the concepts of this study or the concepts that you are using in this study? So has RBV been used with sustainable leadership or project success? Now in this case, I'm just using the example of project success and here is the example right up. The RBV perspective is also important to project based performance as it focuses on the use of deployment of firm's resources. Well, now you have already mentioned that sustainable leadership is a resource. And that can lead to achieving competitive advantage as well. Finally, you have to complete the link. Hence, based on RBV, it can be argued that sustainable leadership can help make organization attain improved project success. You developed an argument and you concluded it here. And finally, here is the complete write-up. So what I did in the previous slides, I've just put it in here as a complete paragraph. And this is what you can put in your research papers as well, just as I have done it here. So I've tried here in this example, I'm linking servant leadership with career satisfaction. So first I define career satisfaction if I haven't defined it previously. Following this, if there is any existing research on the two concepts, empirical research or any other argument that you want to provide, please do so. And finally, I use the same arguments. The present study argues that servant leadership will enhance employees' career satisfaction. The theoretical link between these two constructs can be described in light of LMX theory. And finally, I'm using the same steps here in my research paper as well. So this is how you can use a theory to explain the relationship between two different concepts. And finally, you propose your hypothesis at the end of your arguments. Here is the example of hypothesis. Thank you very much.